Hi guys! Welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another painting tutorial. We'll be doing a landscape painting today and I decided to use a lot of colors today but these are the colors that most of you already have or these are the colors that are not really hard to find. So let me tell you the colors that I'll be using for today's tutorial. I chose to to paint uh, an autumn an autumn scene. Uh, so let's begin now. I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna sketch it because I really don't have a specific thing in mind. So I'll be doing this like out of nothing completely. So we have here black, titanium white, um, phthalo blue, phthalo green, burnt sienna, cadmium yellow, orange, red, and magenta. So let's begin now guys. So I'll be using my pencil to sketch my subject for today's tutorial and I hope that uh, my sketch will be a good guide for me as well because sometimes I change things as I go so this will be the horizon guys so I'm just gonna sketch the horizon like this and this will be of course the sky and um, there will be like background trees, all right, or background bushes, background plants right there. But we'll make sure that the sky is still showing. And I might add, um, I actually don't know. Uh, all right, maybe a tree here, here, tree, a huge one like that and then maybe some grasses right here and then we'll be doing some reflections in the water of course and this will be um, look guys i'm just planning now all right so this will be the soil part and we'll be painting some Hmm, like, I don't know. All right, we'll, we'll, um, we'll identify the exact thing that I'll be putting on right here, but maybe trees as well. And there will be a small house. Hmm, there will be a small house right here. Like that like a small cabin mm, like that like that i'm not really sure guys but we're gonna see how this goes maybe like a chimney here really small mm. all right like that so that will be the basic sketch I I don't know if you could see it but as I go along I mean I'm gonna show you how things are gonna go so for the sky I'm just gonna wet my brush and I'm gonna get my phthalo blue I'm gonna add white to that right like this phthalo maybe add tiny bit of yellow just tiny bit and white and let's go and do the background uh, sky Let's do the background sky. And I also have here my hair dryer just in case I want to dry things quicker than the normal drying time. All right. 
Like that. Okay, that's basically the sky. But a huge area um, of this will be covered um, with some foliage. So there's really nothing to stress about when we do the sky. It's just the beginning of this painting. Just for us to have an idea where things are gonna go. All right, like that. And since we have the sky and we'll be doing some reflections, I'm gonna get my phthalo blue, all right? And let's start doing some reflections of the sky so that we don't forget it. And even if we have to underpaint, I mean, even if we have to do some more reflections, at least it's already there. like that again this is just the underpainting guys it doesn't really make sense right now but later it will I hope all right now I want you to get your black and paint the lower portion with some black paint You can add burnt sienna to that so that you know it has some extra um, hints of brown like that I'm just going to paint the sides. All right. So that's basically it. I hope you have an idea already. All right. Okay. Now we're going to to paint or underpaint the house or the cave-in. I'm just gonna use my burnt sienna. I'm gonna add a tiny bit of white and tiny bit of black, like this color. Add a little bit of black. Let's just try to paint the house we have here. It's not a house, it's a cave-in. like that again the underpainting usually does not make a lot of sense but later, I hope that it will. Like that.
All right. Okay, I want you to get your burnt sienna. Add a tiny bit of black, burnt sienna and black. And we're just going to create some tree trunks already. Or um, maybe not guys, I'm just gonna use this one. As you can already tell already, uh, as you can already tell, I'm not, I don't have a plan today. I'm just doing this out of like I just want to have fun today like that Like that. All right, I'm going to get more white. just gonna smear it here on the roof area just like that in here as well just like that <laughs> and okay we're going to make some patterns here To make the house or the cabin quite rustic looking. Like that. Okay. Okay, I'm going to get my pure brown plus black. Let's create some details on the, the walls. like so and then I'm going to create like some wooden like brick like um, patterns honestly guys I don't know um, I don't have a pattern today to be honest and I kind of like it because I really don't know how this is going to turn out. Right. Like that. All right. We'll be doing some windows and openings later. For now, let's just allow this to dry. And I'm gonna use the same color just to 
add a chimney right here and we'll be doing the details later we're just going to allow this first to dry for this bottom portion I'm just gonna make some hmm I'm just gonna color it with this dark color like that just like that all right make some detailing on the roof like that and again let's just allow this first to dry before we go into the other details I'm just gonna get my foliage brush a round stiff brush I'm just gonna create some foliage so I'm gonna get my pale green right I'm gonna add tiny bit of blue and then tiny bit of yellow to that maybe tiny bit of white to make it more um, like blurry in the background because we're doing perspective so I'm just gonna dab on some greenish colors on the background like that You can use a sponge to make things easier for you guys. Like that. And here as well. Like that. So just dab, creating those foliage like. Um, brush strokes like this all right like that all right okay. all right now I'm gonna get my Mm, yellow right yellow I'm gonna mix with orange you don't have to blend uh, very well because you want some yellow and orange you know appearing um, on the background like separate colors so we're going to dab on this colors on the background like so that okay we'll be doing some details later like the branches all that stuff I'm gonna get my pure phthalo green and I'm just gonna dab on some greenish colors Just like that all right I'm gonna get my red pure red color I'm just gonna dab on some reddish colors in the background like so all right 
like that. Okay, and then I'm gonna get my red. I'm gonna mix that with a tiny bit of burnt sienna to make it more dark red. I actually don't know where to do this. All right, maybe here. Hmm. I'm not sure, guys. All right, let's just do it. that and maybe here and also here all right like that I'm gonna get my yellow I'm not washing my brush I'm just gonna dab on some yellow colors right here also here like that So you can actually overlap the foliage um, touching the roof so that, I mean, it's not really touching the roof, but vis visually it's like overlapping the image because we want to suggest fullness of um, the foliage or the volume of the foliage. All right, now I'm gonna get just pure green, phthalo green, and maybe, Hmm. Alright, just pure green for now. Let's just dab it on here. The most bottom portion. So this is very uh, dreamy to me. It's not usually my subject, guys, but I want to try something new for today's tutorial. All right, like that. Oh, this is actually nice. <laughs> to be honest, I never expected this. All right, like that. So, all right, <laughs> that's nice. I'm gonna add a tiny bit of actually a lot of yellow so that we get to do some highlights here or flowers maybe we don't know there could be flowers like that all right like this okay Of course, you can actually hear the noise from the outside, uh, from the outside of my building. All right, now I'm gonna do, okay, let's uh, give this brush a break and let's do some trunks. I'm gonna get my black and brown or burnt sienna. Let's go and create some tree trunks. So when you do the trunks, don't make a straight line. Make them broken lines to suggest that uh, some are behind the foliage.
and here just create some tiny lines can you use your fan brush for this all right like that all right let's do some details we're not yet playing or we're not yet doing the light here there's no it seems flat to me still so we're going to make some details now i'm gonna use my black plus white so it's like gray and let's just create some tiny like blocks here like that and I'm gonna use the same color to highlight the roof like so In some areas we need to highlight it to make it more realistic or rustic looking like that here as well All right, now I'm gonna get my green, my greens and my browns. We're going to dab it on here. To suggest like Molds are forming already Like that Maybe we can add a tiny bit of burnt sienna Just like this Like that and I'm gonna get my black and just go in between some in between those tiny uh, areas like that all right now let's do some reflections i'm gonna use my black like so all right i'm gonna use my black and green but we're going to make the reflections quite vertical like this we're not copying the the object being reflected but we're going to suggest that the colors on the subject being reflected are in the reflection if that makes sense i hope that makes sense guys so whatever we have here we are just going to do some vertical lines. It's like doing abstract, but still um, following a certain rule. 
Now I'm gonna get my brown because we're now reaching the house reflection or the cave-in. So I'm just gonna get my brown. It's also watered down, so you can see if you notice that. And I'm just gonna create some vertical lines um, suggesting reflections. Like that. And I will make some uh, tiny bit of horizontal lines because um, there are some horizontal lines that we cannot really just uh, ignore. Okay, I'm gonna get my black. And then I hope this is dry already. I have to darken some areas here. Just a suggestion of the thing being reflected. So we're going to copy the shape of the house, but not really. Oh, but not really. We're not really copying it. We're just trying to suggest that there is a thing being reflected. Like that. gonna add some tiny bit of blacks here because it's a reproduction but less detail of what is being reflected oh my god this is good <laughs> I did not realize that guys okay now I want you to get some white Thal uh, titanium white Let's create some water effects, like so. So I'm just going to glide or like this, guys, making some water um, ripples. Like that. It's very nice. Okay, in the back. And here as well. Like that. Like that. And of course, we need to copy what is above it. So there are reds and orange. So get your orange. Just a tiny bit, guys. You don't copy it exactly. But suggest that there are some oranges that are being reflected on the water. Right? And then some red. Get your red. We don't have to overdo this step. We just have to suggest tiny bit of it so that we don't miss it. Alright, wash your brush out. There are some what? What are the colors are up here? Some yellow, probably. Tiny bit, guys, because there's not so much yellow in here. Alright, like that. Okay.
I want you to get your pure white. And let's just create some more, uh, I don't know, water ripples. Like this. All right, okay. Wash your brush out. I'm gonna get my black and suggest the reflections because we kinda overdid the reflection, uh, the water thingy. So the house is no longer being reflected. Let's just make sure that it's still there. Like that, right? I hope you got what I mean, guys. Remember that the shape of being of what is being reflected should be in the water. Should not be clear, but it should be there. All right. All right. Wash your brush out. Now we're going back to the foliage because we want to suggest some light here. I'm gonna get my yellow plus white, so it's like light yellow, light yellow colors. We're just going to dab on some bright yellows. Um, yeah, here, here, this area. And here. And here. All right. And of course, here. Get your white, just white. If the yellows are mixing, it's all right. But make the make the white color more dominant. set this aside and I want to create some more um, branches or trees of trees so get your brown and blacks okay. let's just make some more branches we haven't we haven't done some depth if you notice, there's no depth depth on the foliage. So I'm gonna get my green. Okay, get your green. I'm gonna add uh, brown. You can add black if you want. We want to create some depth. There's no depth. I noticed. So I'm just gonna dab on some greeny, dark green colors to add some depth. Like so. You can add depth on the corners. dreamy for me I mean I really don't know if there is a place like this but probably like that I'm gonna get my brown okay I want to suggest that the leaves are not perfectly green and, and yellow so I'm gonna add some hints of brown on the leaves I really don't want it too perfect. All right. 
Now I'm gonna get my black. I already ran out of it. Using my black, I'm just gonna make some suggestion of grasses in the foreground, like so, like this. It is against the light, so we should not be really doing or showing the colors. So just make some suggestion of grasses on the foreground. But make the directions or go in different directions, guys. Do not go in just one direction. All right, like this. Okay, wash your brush out. And I really think I still lack some depth. So I'm gonna get my black and mix it with my greeny color. It's like this. And I really want to add some more depth. I don't feel like it's enough, the depth that I've done. like that all right while we're waiting for those foliage to dry i'm just gonna make some more details on this cave-in because it feels like closed you know that so close it doesn't have any opening so i'm just gonna get my black of course i'm gonna create a tiny bit of like um, circle It's not really perfect circle. Anyway, I'll be highlighting it later, so I will make it more round. All right, like this. Get your black. And I want to darken this area. Right, the greens are mixing, but it's all right because I kind of like the effect. It makes the cave in more like realistic. I don't know where to put some door. Hmm, maybe. All right, I'm just gonna like that. I wanna make some door I don't just, I just don't know where hmm. all right perhaps perhaps here I'm not really sure guys Mm. 
or let's just assume that the door is somewhere at the back <laughs> we're not gonna we're not gonna put any more door here because I, I feel like it's going to make it quite weird right so I don't want to put any more door all right all right so now hmm I'm going to get again my foliage brush okay I'm gonna get my yellow plus white and I'm just gonna go back to doing some more highlighted uh, foliage Like that. I'm gonna get my orange. Oops. Oh. I'm just gonna dab on some tiny bit of orange on the foreground. And maybe I'm going to dab on some orangey color on the roof just to suggest some falling leaves, yellow maybe, uh, yeah. Just like so. And I'm going to use my magenta, which we haven't used. I'm going to dab on some magenta. So this is really like a lot of fall colors. And kind of like it. Very dreamy. All right. Now I'm gonna get my pure white. I ran out. I ran out of white already, so I'm just gonna get some white. More white and I want to use this white paint to highlight some areas on the roof like so just slightly um, brushing with some white like that All right here as well and inside the circle but only half we want to suggest where the light is like that here some highlighted areas all right like that okay and of course the water do not overdo the water thing because we still want the reflection to show like that okay what should we shout I'm gonna get my brown brownie color 
let's add some uh, brownie touches on the wall okay like that get your black and add some black like that to make it more like you know real that it's an old house or a cabin perhaps we don't want to make it look like it's it was just recently built you want to suggest that it has been there for quite a while like that like that all right wash your out I want you to get your white okay. and make some highlights guys do not overdo this step because we've been doing the foliage since the beginning so uh, there will be a lot of layering but do not overdo this step this tiny bit this tiny suggestion of highlights that's it that's it guys i think we're done oh this is so nice all right this is nice guys right going to make some like some branches hanging right like that All right, wash your brush out. And I'm gonna use my white and tiny bit of phthalo blue because we want some like spaces between those foliage. We don't want to be completely like there's no space. We want to suggest some space. So I'm just going to dab on some tiny bit of blues to suggest some holes or spaces if you want. Because we don't want it to be perfectly flat. like that <laughs> I'm gonna get my white I'm going to highlight the center of the sky the sky portion just make it a little brighter water and I think we're done we're done guys this is nice so I'm gonna sign it now I'm just gonna use my existing white and I'm just gonna sign it here and that's it we're done we're done guys I hope you enjoy this one I really enjoy this one because this is um, unplanned. I really didn't have anything in mind. I just painted what I want to paint. 
So thanks for watching, and I hope to see you in my next video. Love you.